We gotta talk about Jack. Cause what's possible with open goal these days? It's truly mind blowing. I wanna be taking a look at some of the things that the community has already done. The first one, I wanna take a look at the Orient Express on Zoomer mod. From what I know, you usually run through this as Coco, right? And you're on some sort of tiger. I never played this crash level, so I wouldn't quite know what's going on here. The fact that there's like a gate that you can go through that looks mind-blowing. So I wonder what's going on here. Okay, so you can't just drive through this. And I also feel like they sort of just started the music here. But wow, this is so cool. I need to say placing all those crates and pickups must have taken ages because you would have to manually put everything there one by one. For actors, you need to edit a text file. So ridiculously time-consuming, but that's the effort they went through here. It is so awkward to see subtitles for this. Because the original Jack didn't have subtitle subtitles, in case you didn't know. It's missing enemies, but still, the fact that they were going through the trouble to, to just do this, that's pretty awesome. Oh, that is pretty sick. Let's take a look at some other videos that Inerdin has up on his channel. This one is called Jack and Daxter, but it's Crash Bandicoot. Let's take a look at that together. That is so cool. That is really, really cool. Holy moly. Yeah, once again, this is so odd to see subtitles for this. I also feel like there's some unused dialogue here, but I might be wrong. But I see, put it, they even put a death plane here. That's really cool. Get the F out. This is amazing. I wonder if someone will eventually do all levels of Crash 1. Hey, this is the thing that I was talking about. It's up to the community now to be making those things. This is why I believe Open Goal is the future, because you can make stuff like this yourself if you really wanted to. It's so weird seeing orbs come out of wooden crates. It really, really is. Like, usually you see Green Ego coming out, but uh, orbs? Yeah, that, that's, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> you can notice that the sand sounds different from the footsteps that Jack's making compared to the stone that he's walking on. Yeah, right here, he has sand footsteps. And then over here, he has stone footsteps. So really, really cool stuff. That is kind of sick. I'm curious whether that sound is like in the game or if you like edited that in. Oh, wow. What? Okay, that's cool. That ending right there, this is so well made. So regarding the sound effects that uh, like happen, I too think that they were put in after the fact in like an editing program. Maybe potentially we might be getting the actual sound effects in the game later down the line. That's definitely something for the future. High editing effort, yeah, that's for sure. It amazed me. And apparently it also amazed Mr. Nathan Drake. Okay, next video. So this one right here is called Jack and Daxter in Minecraft. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. One moment. Can you export Minecraft maps and put them into Blender? You can? Oh my god. This explains how you did it then. This is pretty cool. Let's continue watching here. Wow, this is amazing. This might not be his own map. He might have just taken it from someone who previously made this in Minecraft and then imported it into actual Jack. But he then and went and actually put in the orbs and scout flies. Yeah, I'm I'm amazed. This is really, really solid. In the description, he mentions the creator of the map. And I heard he got permission. Let's take a look at it. Minecraft model by Velvetronic. That's what it says right here. Oh no. What am I seeing right here? The sculptor and the muse? Is that what's going on? No, he didn't go there. Ah, oh, rip. It's a real scene. Minecraft like this? It really is. 
The blue stuff up there in the sky, were those the eco beams? This right here? It's not quite what I expected, but it's a pretty cool touch. That is sick. One moment. What is this over here? Isn't that a guardian from Breath of the Wild? You gotta be kidding me, right? It has to be. It is surely not for Minecraft. That is true. Yeah. This is it. This is one of those guardians. They're the same thing. It's always funny when people add stuff like this in. I'm not sure who put this in, but this is pretty cool nonetheless when people put in references to other games. What I find amazing right here, all the boosteds that you could do from these platforms. Because everything is just a straight ledge. That is sick. Yeah, all these potential boosted uppercuts here. This is amazing. Good, good work. This is super solid. Oh no. What just happened there? The Roblox Zoo, my god. We're actually in Roblox. This wasn't Minecraft at all. This was Roblox. I feel like there's one more video that we gotta take a look at, and that's his latest video. Let's take a look at that. Okay, this is just Sentinel Beach. Oh, this isn't supposed to be here. Okay, what's going on here? Oh man. Oh man. Is this... It can't be. So I'm not too sure. Dark Souls? My god. Oh boy. The bonfire is like an actual red eco. Take a look at that. Oh, Ron, the comments. The yellow eco at the bonfire is fantastic. I thought this was red eco, not yellow. Okay, I'm sorry. Red eco, a uh, yellow eco then. And it's actually yellow eco. Okay, my bad. I haven't touched this game in forever. Are you even a Jack player? No, I am a, a Jack React channel. But uh, good stuff. Hey, this is uh, this is amazing. Definitely check out Enerd and subscribe to them. I don't feel confident taking a look at more creators today, but we might be taking a look at more in the future. Maybe there is a part two where we take a look at more things open goal and what the community has made. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It's a free way of helping out and anyone can do it. I will see you in part two. Until then, take care and bye-bye.